Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Gaming Weekly Update, this is your host Kieran and today in this video I'm going to show you and guide you through this website known as Retro Achievements. So what is Retro Achievements? Basically what Retro Achievements is, if I go back to the home page here, Retro Achievements adding achievements to retro games since 2012. So what that means, like ever since consoles like the Xbox 360 or the PlayStation 3 came out, those games have had achievements. So people have taken like retro games and retro consoles, created emulators, which will be in this link I'll show you later, and they've added achievements to them. Even games that are like ROM hacks, like this Mario Adventure 3 that I've recently just on a let's play off so what do we do to set this up well first off you need to create an account which is simple you just go in and it will say sign in like add your email add your password and then boom select it you'll get a link with your email just sign up click to confirm it and then your account is created so this is my account here let's go through what these are so games these are the list of games that are compatible for the achievements that you can get so all the way from nintendo all the way from Sony, from the Atari, Zega, NEC. These are like other, so these are like, I don't know, like probably non-branded consoles or something. I, I don't know. But yeah, and then this will give you a list of the games right here. This will give you like the hard games. These are the most requested ones. New sets and revisions, sets in progress, random set. Then there's just hubs here so it'll be like hub list central hub i'm not entirely sure what this is about but i'm just showing you what the achievements is all about so how do we download like the emulator to give you the achievements like what emulators are actually supported for this well first off like the list here will give you a huge list of games which are which have achievements on it but um for some reason i can't get this open at the moment maybe it's on maintenance or something i don't know but a rough idea like if you look for a game it'll show you the game and then it'll show you what the achievements are and how you can get them as you can see i've got tomb raider here i've actually played quite a huge list of games here so i've done tomb raider 2 and you can tell how good you've done because it'll tell you the stuff here because i've got all the achievements for tomb raider 2 spiral 2 this one like and i've done a huge list of games just for testing and um there's actually two different types of achievements that you can get there's regular achievements which you can get like um where you get a blue line instead of this gold yellow color and basically the difference between the two are the blue ones is just regular achievements so you can use save states and all that stuff basically the gold one means hardcore mode which means you get all the achievements without using save states cheat codes in game or cheat codes built into the emulator so I'll go through that with you in a second. So you go to download and you've got a huge list of emulators right here. So starting from the top, we have Bishawk. And right here, it will show you the list of consoles that are actually compatible for it. So you just go through and then see which one works for you. This is Duck Station, which is probably my favorite and probably Brad's favorite uh, playstation one emulator ever like but yep duck station has got one pcsx2 which is the playstation 2 i i said that wrong there that was my mistake but yeah we've also got ppsspp which is psp then this is the one brad uses this is ral lib retro it's got a lot of systems here as you can see it's basically the same as bizhawk more or less but i think this one actually has more so we've got Ramika, which is actually the Mecha. So that has these ones. And even your typical ones, like for Nintendo 64 and the NES, there's a version of those ones that have retro achievements built into it. So FCE UX, which is the NES emulator, the common one, this is the version that um, has retro achievements built in. So same with Nintendo 64, like the Project 64. And then we've got Apple Win, which um, I'm not sure what that... Oh, Apple II. Yeah, it says here. And then we've got Quasi88, which is this. And then we've got SNES 9X, which is the emulator I actually use to emulate the Mario World ROM hacks, or the Mario Adventure ROM hacks. And um, through here, 
We've got the Visual Boy Advance. This is Game Boy Advance Color. Then we've got everyone's favorite one, which is Retro Arch. Or Retro Arc, however you want to pronounce that. It's got a lot of list of games here. To some people, they might be a little fiddly like to, to set up, but it's actually not so bad once you get the hang of it. And we've got when Arcadia, I think that says. 2001, Electra, TV, Games, Computer. Yeah. And that's all the achievement. That's all the emulators. So the ones that I usually use, like I use BizHawk. Like Brad uses this one. I basically use this one, but I don't know why, but I think it's because it's easier to set up the controls and I don't know. Like it differ. It's different. And also it's easier to go full screen when you double click it. So, oh, didn't mean to do that. But yeah, when you double click it, it goes full screen. So th that's what makes it easier for me. So Duck Station what's what I would use for PlayStation 1. PCSX2 is what I would use. It's the only one for PS2. I mean, PlayStation's also on, I think, here and the one Brad uses here. But Duck Station's the one. Duck Station is the best one. So when you are satisfied which one you're happy with you go to here where it says download and it will give you a download link and then you just install it or whatever you need okay and here are the list of emulators that i traditionally use for my let's plays like um if i was doing the sonic rom hacks i would use kega fusion which um this one doesn't support the achievements by the way and um as i said with snes i use snes 9x and that's the list of ROM hacks I've got here. And right here, we've got Duck Station. And here, I've got the long one, which is PCSX2. And then for Nintendo 64, I got the Project 64 one. So I might switch to actually using BizHawk because, like I said, it's so much easier to look at that full screen while I'm recording or if I'm Let's Playing or whatever. But yep, let's go through of how you set this up. So the same password that you use to to sign in right here. Oh, okay. As you see, when you come to the top here. So I'm just going to log out for this so you can see. Right. When you first log in, oh, when you first log in, you go up here to where it says retro achievements. And then you go log in. Type your name in, and of course your password, which um, you won't be able to see because I've got it blocked. Just type it in. I'll say keep me logged in because that makes it much more convenient. And there it goes, successfully logged in as Kieran Lochran. Yeah, I know. Okay, so when you start a game, let's say, for example, um, Sonic the Hedgehog. There's the game started. So... So if you want to check out what achievements this game has, click where it says Retro Achievements and click where it says Open This Game's Page. Or another way of doing it, you can go to where it says File and Pause Game. And as you can see, you've got the list of achievements right here. So you've got things like, I don't know, the Floor is Lava. We've got Spring Yard Zone. So like, for example, Get to Marble Zone, Get to Spring Yard Zone. So these are quite easy achievements, but... Some games will have some really tough ones, but yep. Uh, I will go through a few, how to work a few of the, the emulators, but they all more or less work the same. So, this is Lab Retro. And like I said, another common one that I use is Duck Station. And um, there's a few of the games that I've um, got planned that I want to let's play. Like, I want to do this for Christmas for some reason. I don't know why, but <laughs> I thought it'd be fun to do. But anyway, um... We come to here. This is how me and Brad actually found out about the achievements. Because I told Brad about this uh, this emulator. And um, he's like, oh, it's actually pretty good. So he's looking at the settings. And then he saw this. And he was like, he's like, hold up. And he's like, put achievements in the game. He's like, you can get achievements for this? And I was like, I was like, what? <laughs> Didn't even know this existed. So yeah, like I said, enable hardcore mode basically means that you have to get the achievements without using save states, without using cheat codes in the game or a cheap or cheats that are built on the emulator. So yeah, same thing. Like when you open this up, when you go to achievements, you just log in the same way as I showed you in lab. Ra Lib Retro. I keep, I keep saying that name wrong. PS2 is basically the same thing. 
You just open that up. Oh, it's asking me to... Sometimes you'll get this, but it's a good thing that it does a update here and there. But as you can see, the this emulator is basically similar to Duck Station. So again, you go to settings and you go down to where it says achievements. Then you just log in with the same details that you normally do right here. Very simple stuff. Now, just remember, if you want to get the retro achievement version of the emulator, you have to download it exactly from that retro achievement website. If you download the regular, like Project 64 or SNES 9X or whatever, then it's not going to be supported. So you need to get the ones that say, like, RA Project 64. So, because RA stands for, of course, uh, retro achievements. So, again, there's retro achievements, login. Basically the same as, like, Rylib Retro that we just looked at earlier. And this is Retro Arch. So, to set up the retro achievements for this one... You go down to where it says settings and then you come all the way down where it says achievements. Then like everything else, put your username here, password here, and then boom, the retro achievements will be ready. So there's loads of different things. There's loads of different games that you can do and there's loads of different emulators. So you can read what game that you like and whatnot. So everything will be dandy. And there's one thing that I would like to show you that me and Brad just found out recently. You find a game on the list that you find here, if it ever works here and <laughs> Okay, but yeah. Say like you want to play a game on, say like, I don't know, Nintendo 64. And then say you want to play, I don't know, um... Hmm. Yeah, we'll just go with the good old classic. We'll say Super Mario 64. So say like you want to play this. When you open this, like where I'm getting at, you click on where it says want to play. So let's select that. It says added to want to play games. So when you come to here, you go where it says want to play games. Like say like you find a game that you find interesting that's got interesting achievements to unlock or challenging ones to unlock. You can go, you can make a list of that, add it to this list and you can come back and download the games later. By the way, like I said, you'll probably be asking, why am I not asking where to get the ROMs from or BIOS? Like, there's a rule against that by advertising it, so I can't, we can't really advertise that because, you know, like, laws with YouTube. But there there are many ways of doing it. Like, there's tons of BIOS that you can find on Google and stuff and ROMs. Plenty of websites for that, so you just need to look it up and find it for yourselves. Or find other videos. Like, I, I don't know. But like I said, there's, that's why we don't that's why we do not do it. But yeah, that, that's more or less it for the video because that there's nothing more else left I can tell you other than this is the list of the games, these are the list of achievements, and this is where you get the emulators that are supported for these achievements. So yep, I guess. So I guess that's going to be it, and that's going to conclude this video. So thank you so much for watching, and as per usual, if you liked what you've seen, Please like, comment, and subscribe. Remember to hit the bell if you want to see any more videos or any more live streams that me or Brad produce on this channel. I've been Kieran of Gaming Weekly Update, and we'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching, and goodbye.